you say, Tony, right now? Yeah, I'm over here working. This guy just flew by me, and I, I had to stop what I was doing and really ask this guy, what the hell are you wearing? I'm all right, so the scent of the day today is a Dua. And the name of the Dua is Enter the Tiger. Now, Enter the Tiger is supposed to be from Bulgari's line, Le Gem series. And I'm not sure if you pronounce it Tiger or Tigar. First spray, uh, what, you, what I get, what you're gonna get is a nice, juicy grapefruit blast. Now, if you ever smell Blue de Chanel EDT, that's exactly what it reminds me of, that type of grapefruit. Uh, it's actually eerily identical to Blue de Chanel EDT, the grapefruit meaning. And of course, this one does have Ambroxan, but it's not a total Blue de Chanel EDT clone. So don't get it, don't get it twisted now. When you spray, you're going to smell that juicy grapefruit. And then uh, the Ambroxan takes over and uh, you're going to smell woods. Now, I used to have a regular that used to come to, uh, you know, dine with me at, at Logan South. And he would ask for me and um, he would be wearing a cologne that I, for some reason I thought it was a Creed one. But, you know, getting to know him, I asked him what, what, what he was wearing. And uh, he told me, oh, it's a Bulgari uh, cologne. It's cost like $333. I didn't believe him. I was like, why? Like, what Bulgari costs so fucking much? You know what I mean? And uh, it turns out that he was wearing one of the Legem series. Now, when I think about it, I think it was t a Tiger because um, he showed me a picture of it. And as I remember right, it came with a, the Bulgari ones, came with a wooden box. And the wooden box, uh, they're all color coded, and I think it was an orange one. And I'm not mistaken, t Tiger's the the orange one. So I'm gonna wear this throughout the day. Uh, my feedback to you guys, and um, hopefully this dries down the way I'm thinking it's gonna dry down. So I was testing it out last night, but when you wear a Duo, since they're X straights, man, they last forever, and the dry down will last forever, and it'll take a while to get to the dry down. So I'm gonna wear it all night, see what happens, and um, hopefully it, it dries down to that musky, woody uh, dry down that I'm thinking it's gonna that it's gonna go into. So uh, keep it right here with me. Ah <laughs> oh, man, amateur videos, huh? Keep it here with me. Slow train, cool sense coming in from Dua Land. Now, just another note, man, that every time I've worn a Dua to work. I get mad compliments. Not only do I get like one compliment, I get like four or five compliments from all my coworkers and people from the from um, from the tables that I'm waiting. And um, they usually tell me, "Oh, you smell so good." I've gotten compliments from uh, Casino Royal Fire, um, a fucking Cherry, fucking Fabulous. Um, what else? Uh, Elysium, Supernova in the Casino. Uh, fucking cherry was a big one that they really loved. Uh, which one else? I can't think of the top off my head right now. But like I said, I always get mad compliments. Now, do I get mad compliments because they can smell them that much more since they are egg straights? I don't know. Uh, but hey, man, when I get a compliment, it just makes my day. You know what I mean? So um, let's see if I get any compliments when I go into work, man. And I'll let you guys know about it. So. Um, I'm not trying to sell you the dual brand and saying, oh, you wear this and you get mad compliments. But for me, it's true, man. And it's just crazy the amount of compliments that I wear that I'm like, dude, every time I wear a dual, man, I get a compliment, at least one, but some like most of the time it's multiple compliments. So I'll let you guys know about this one. Now, what I'm noticing right now about the scent, that grapefruit stain on, you know, for the life of itself, right? But there's a... There's like a burning kind of uh, essence behind this scent. It's not overpowering. It's not gonna be like, I'm smelling burning woods or anything, but in the background, there's like a burning, is it the Ambroxan? I don't know. It smells like it's, like it's, there's something burning behind. You know what I mean? Like take a whole picture. You're looking at the whole picture and in the, in the middle, there's a fire there. And that's how I'm interpreting this scent right now, so. Now, when you spray this fragrance, how is it gonna portray you? It's gonna portray you as a as a clean, confident man, man. This is a little more uh, in mature kind of age range. You know what I mean? Not that a young man can't pull it off, but it's more in the in the upper 30s, like lower 30s. You know, from 30s and up, basically. In my opinion, it's got that because of that burning sensation that it's got in the background. It 
it's the very alpha, man. Alpha, clean, yet not too aggressive because it does have that not aquatic kind of feature, but like a, it's got the blue, it's, it's, it's like a blue scent to me. So alpha, confident, and not really playerish, but you Mr. I don't have to try to steal your girl kind of thing. Like that, that's what this oozes off, man. And I feel like I'm gonna get mad compliments when I go to work, swatch. Party people! What, what, what did you just say, Tony, right now? Yeah, I'm over here working. This guy just flew by me, and I, I had to stop when I was doing it. Really asked this guy, what the hell are you wearing? He's I'm really good, man. I'm wearing uh, good. Dua t uh, Enter the Tiger. Dua Enter the Tiger. <laughs> No. Come on. No. Say what, what? What did you just say right now? That cologne smells real good, sis. Enter the tiger, baby. <laughs> say that again. You're choking on the. You're Sorry, choking. Hello, it's too strong, dog. <laughs> he said right now that it was too strong. So, um, hey, man, I'm, I'm over here thinking it's dying down. I'm going nose blind to it. That's what it is. All of that unboxing. Oh, uh, compliment, uh, tally. One more. I didn't get her on video, but got one more compliment on that. What did you think about the cologne that I was wearing today? I can smell it from the back of the house, man. You can smell it for like a couple of minutes, like, like 10 feet away. 30 like, yards away. Yeah. What about you, brother? Oh, man, it smells great. You've been smelling like it all day. Like, all I day. thought you were keeping on reapplying it. Nah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be 10 o'clock soon, so you can only hours. imagine, man. All right, so final thoughts. Enter the Tiger was a hit at work, man. Everybody loved it. Honestly, I put like 15 sprays on it. On my back, on my forearm, my neck, my back, my neck. Um, a little recap. This one smells like grapefruit, musk, I'm Broxen. And that's pretty much what I get, man. That grapefruit is ever, ever present, man. Um, like I said, they have this like burning quality to it. Um, the dry down, like in the three hour mark or somewhere around there, I thought that it was fading. The, I thought it was dying down. Little did I know that I was going nose blind to it. And Broxon does that to you. Um, people said, man, I smell you. I got a couple of clips that, that you probably saw already. I probably put them in already. And um, you know, me over here thinking that it's, oh, it's light. It's already going away. But when I say x rays do us last forever, man. Probably last all day long. I kept leaving sillages here and there that I did keep smelling, but this one kind of reminds me of um, if you get blue to Chanel and kind of mix it with Aventus, like a little bit of Aventus in it. That's the best way I can describe this. The background has like a nice, like a patchouli incense kind of note. I read, it's probably patchouli, I'm not sure, but. A little bit of tonka maybe in the background, a little powdery in the background, but not too much, man. This is a compliment getter, man. Um, I did get another compliment. I didn't film her, and she just said it smelled so good. Every, all the girls said I smelled so good, and blah, blah, blah. All the guys, uh, they kept saying, uh, have you been re-spritzing? I'm like, no, man. You know, I, I I did this when I before I came to work, man. And that's the power of duo, man. Um, Get yourself one of these, man. Enter the tiger, and you won't be. It's a safe flying by, in my opinion. If you like Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, Advances, and stuff like that, you're gonna like this. Safe flying by, man. Anyways, guys, uh, slow train, cool sense. Giving you guys that do a thumbs up, brother. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.